If you're looking to take your Trello productivity up a notch, you're gonna love this episode because I'm gonna walk you through my top five free Trello power-ups that you should be using in every single one of your boards. What's up, Familia? I'm Kim Jimenez, and this is part three of our Trello basic series where I'm teaching you how to take your productivity to the next level with Trello. Make sure to check out the links in the description box below. I'm going to be linking in our blog, the accompanying blog to this episode, everything that we mention, as well as some special bonus resources that we just can't put into video because it would just be way too long. So make sure to do that anytime throughout the tutorial. So working off of our sample board, the first power up that I think everyone should have is the card repeater power up. And this is gonna come in super handy if you need to have a recurring task inside one of your boards. So you're gonna find power ups right here in the menu section. You're gonna click that and you're gonna see so many different options, so many different power ups. And they're categorized uh, in terms of their functionality, which I love. Now, most of the ones that we're gonna focus on are made by Trello and thus are free. But the one that we just talked about, which is our card repeater, is right over here. So you're gonna want to add this to your board. And once you've activated the card repeater, we're gonna go back here to our main board and you're gonna see the option inside of your projects. So let me just show you real quick how to do that. Once you have that, you're gonna see that there is this repeat button in the cards. So let's say that this is a task that I want repeated. Let's change it out for something that's more repeatable. For example, send newsletter. Awesome, so that happens every single week in our business on Wednesdays. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. Of course, you can add a workflow, beef it up however you need, add all of the resources and attachments, and then select repeat. Then you're gonna select weekly, monthly, or yearly. In our case, this is a weekly recurring task. I actually want it to repeat on Monday so that I can have it ready by Wednesday. And then of course you can select whether you want it every week, every two weeks, so on and so forth. Or if uh, you actually want to have it repeat on a monthly basis, then it's going to actually ask you how often, like every two months, every three months, etc. So that's really easy to set up pick a time, and then you want to select the list that you want it to show up on again. So I'm gonna select the list, what we're working on right now, because that's the one that's relevant to this task, and I want it to show up at the top position, but you can also select it to be shown at the bottom position. Once you have that in place, now this card is ready to go. You can always edit it from the repeat button, and of course, now every single Monday at noon, I will have a new send newsletter card show up on the what we're working on right now list right over here. And that way I never forget a task. This comes in super handy, especially when you're trying to offload all those different projects in your head, things that you should not be boggling down your mental white space with. Please, please, please make sure to make use of this awesome power up. It's really going to serve you. Now it's important to note that with the free Trello version, you get one power up per board, so you will have to choose which one you would want to use. But if you upgrade to their gold level, um, you can use up to three power-ups and then their business class is unlimited power-ups. So that's something to keep in mind this is not a Trello sponsored video. None of our videos are, just a heads up. These are the tools that we love and we use, so I just wanted to point that out. The second power-up that I think is super powerful pun intended, is the custom fields power up. And this is one that I get asked about a lot. So again, go to your power ups. Uh, you can type it in the search bar right here, custom fields. This one's already installed, but you're going to click the add button. And the custom fields uh, option with the power ups just makes your cards so powerful. It really takes them up a notch. So for example, let's say that I'm doing a hiring project as we were using in the previous video's example, custom fields really just allows me to add more information that might be relevant to my team or just relevant to myself as I'm going, for example, through different uh, hires. So I can always customize the custom fields right here and you can add so many of them. So for example, you can add a start date to your project or you could say uh, interview period and just add it there, right? To make it relevant to the specific card. Maybe you also want to have um, 
a yes or no option. So maybe you can say uh, for individual interviewees, you can have the option of uh, interviewed and then yes or no, right? So that could be the second one. And then you can always add text fields if you need to. So let's say that you want to change the status and maybe you could uh, write on here, uh, moved to uh, top applicant position. That's one way of doing it. But there's so many things that you could do with custom fields. For example, if you wanted to add here, you could have a checkbox, a date, a drop down, you know, numbers, et cetera. And those will be so helpful to see um, when you're kind of looking at all your cards as a whole. So let's say, for example, as we continue on with this um, example here about hiring, let's say that you want to add here um, the person's uh, information so you can have a billing, not billing, sorry, <laughs> address, right? Or you could have the name of that specific person as well. You could have it in text and then be name. You could have another one be last name and you can have another one be uh, phone number. So that way you're literally customizing everything about this specific card and you can go in and say okay this is going to be you know the start of the hiring period we'll do it um, right here and then have you interviewed this person yes or no um, you can definitely have um, you know whether or not they've kind of moved up their address you could have it here uh, main street and then their name stephanie um Last name, of course, we need to switch this out. <laughs> and again, if you need to ever change it up, you can do that. So instead of it being um, the the this kind of field, I'm actually going to switch that out and have it be an actual text field. So last name, can add that right here. And of course, you can always delete them by clicking here, delete field. Awesome. So there you have very customized information that you can set up in terms of the custom fields. You can definitely look into more ideas of how you could use this and just make it super productive, super efficient for your individual workflow. So the next power up is a calendar and this one for sure you're going to want to have in every single one of your boards. Let's take a look at the calendar view. And when you have this power up enabled right over here, so you're going to you're going to want to go to power ups again click calendar, make sure that you have that added. And now you're gonna see a calendar view right up top on this board. And that way you can switch between the board view and the card view, super simple. You could see everything that's going on at a glance. Um, anytime you have completed a task or project, you'll see a strike through on the, there as well. You can click on it and quickly edit or add anything that you need to individual cards. You can move them around to switch out their due date. Um, and of course you can create new ones. If I wanted to create a new one, I could just hit it, create it here, create a demo card, add a, a due date and select the list where it's go going to be positioned. And there you have it. So very simple, very easy to use. I get this question a lot. How do you set up a calendar on Trello? And this is a great calendar view. You can also toggle between the week as well as the month. So I find that super helpful if we kind of look at um, what we have going on here for each week. You can just easily toggle through and take a look at the projects that you have going on, et cetera, et cetera. So super, super, super useful. All right, so the next power up is called Card Snooze. And really what it does is it lets you bring back a card that maybe you've put on pause or you wanna remember to create in the future and have it reappear on your Trello board, which is so, so useful, especially if you wanna jot something down real quick that maybe you need to do in a month from now or two months from now, but you don't necessarily want it to take up space on your board this is the power up for you. So again, just enabling it through the power ups menu, what you're going to see it look like, it's literally going to say cards news. So I'm going to add it right here. 
search for it, boom, we have it. And that really is just gonna allow us to create a card. So let's say that I wanna schedule something for the future or even work on a project that I wanna um, have come back into my board because it's on pause or because maybe I just don't want it to take up space right now or whatever reason, I love using this. So for example, let's say that I'm doing a TBL launch right? And we're opening up the doors to our membership site. So what we'll do is we'll hit snooze and we can literally have it snooze for a couple hours, a couple of days, um, or even a month. So I love having this. It's really helpful. And so the card will be archived and then brought back to exactly where it was before, which is again, a must have. And so this next power up that I'm going to share with you is equally as important, especially if you're working on a lot of different projects at the same time, or you have a team that you're collaborating with, and that is called the hard aging power up. Now, I know this might sound basic, but really isn't it super useful. And I'm going to show you what this can do in my own Trello board uh, for project management. So I'm gonna apply this power up uh, to our board right here just so I can show you what it does. And really, it's going to apply a filter to the cards that have not been active for a while on your board. It's really going to help you see at a glance. You'll see that they're faded right here, right? These are faded. Which of these cards need attention? Which of these projects maybe are at a standstill or have not made any recent progress? So any activity that is on there will um, determine whether or not that card is aging out or not. And that's a clear visual indication that, hey, we need to get back on the horse with this specific card, with this specific project. Something is breaking down in the productivity workflow, or I need to reconsider what whether or not that's a project that I still want to work on that still inspires me, that's still going to move the needle forward, or if I just need to say goodbye, it's time to archive it and move on to something else. So hey, now that you know how to leverage power-ups and get your productivity to the next level, it's time to learn all about how to sync your Google Calendar with your Trello board and get more done with a Trello calendar task system. So if you wanna learn more about that, I'm gonna show you a couple more advanced strategies in the next video. It's gonna be linked in the description box below as well as somewhere in the card section. And hey, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite Trello power up number one and number two i'd love to hear more about your feedback would you like a future episode on more advanced power ups that are perhaps paid as well let me know i'd love to hear from you this is a series that we're creating in collaboration with you and i want to hear your feedback so let me know in the comments below and of course, I have even more resources for you over on the blog that accompanies each and every one of our episodes. That's gonna be linked in the description box below and you'll get access to my free Trello workflow template. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely check out the blog accompanying this episode and I'll see you in that next video.